A car is not a good trade for a piano And I begged you for it And I begged you but that didn't matter Wanted to marry a farmer When I had crops in the yard But he had more Her name was Damsel Chica She would knock your head off She loves a rooster in the yard But don't get her mad I only have for you this fleeting time Who am I, who am I to say I want you Or can have you When you'll always be, just be yourself Oh, if I died when I'm alive Would you hold my hand if I lived? And who am I to say I could have you Even if you gave me yourself who am I to deny you to go on a trip over myself? Cause I only have the sweet time to look into your eyes and smile and tell a story, understand, oh. If I die while I'm alive, would you hold my hand while I live? And look to the chain link fence, smell the grass that was growing. Long and infinite signs on the fence. We kept spawn mowing service with 132850. A Commodore drove past in a synchronous moment. Gas, grass, or ass, no one rides for free. The combination of multitudes of cultural grin, and all at once was too much in the hot sun. She felt faint and sat by the fence. Shade of a whole bunch of suburban angels and trumpets and listening to the sound of the wind push the rusty wire around and the zoom of a few cars. Well, one beeped and yelled out, you slus a mole. Looked into a handbag and saw the remnants of a pouch from last week, a band-aid. Several supermarket dockets for durries, a tampon, a used gear bud. And a mystery minty packet with something in it she wasn't sure. With a jolt of disgust, she thought of Peter Dutton's face and thought about getting some chips from Macca's. But she didn't do that anymore because of her stance on global agriculture. She thought she saw a pumpkin, but really it was just an old dirty head of cabbage. It might have been a cabbage patch doll. The face faded from the sun on one side and the repository of various algae on the inside and the birthplace of 2,000 generations of mosquito. She brushed up her skirt and trotted down the road to waft of a passerby, married her own waft on the street corner and half-priced asparagus told the side of the shop the wink from the shopkeeper makes steel of the nerves and in a moment of petulance she reached out with a well-worn Doc Martin boot and kicked a big old dit in a council bin it dinged like a broken gong and had the resonance of a duck quack. And the shop giver yelled, dirty fucking fucking cunt mongrel. Get fucked, get out of here. And she looked into the eyes of the shopkeeper and said, why don't you get fucked? The child began to cry at the coffee shop alongside and she suddenly felt the weight of three pairs of eyes. Who had been silent by the sight of a baby chino knocked onto the pavement poached eggs and avocado going cold an orchestration of cooling food and silence and then a familiar hum of the crowd talking to her and she wandered along don't get fucked slammed a greasy paw print into the cafe knocking over a sign that said smashed avocado half price I don't want a data copper four hours later in the cell at least she got some free backers in the shit hole of an underbreath chatter from the constabulary you'll keep mate you'll keep long ago the person was 
progressing on the raceway and went the distance long after the poodle do decomposes. The plastic remains and chokes the whales long after the whales die and long after their meat has been carved from their still quaking bodies and the sashimi is now devoured in delicate packages. The plastic will accumulate into impossible bergs. These bergs will become rafts. The rafts will sustain bloody bastards. And upon these pastures, lambs. And the lambs will be free to wait in the fields of gold and upon the bounties that bring forth golden rays of wheat upon the sunshine an ecosystem of hope and joy truly a heaven on earth will become and humanity will rejoice for so many more generations will the floods come and we will sail in our ark across the Himalayas and all the sinners perish the dumps will fly and when the water recedes we will grow forests of olive trees and crown their heads with laurel Automatic door opened and the whoosh of air conditioning followed. The machine hadn't been turned off yet, but it would go on humming through the night. Until the vandal smashed it or someone in a high vis shirt was paid to turn it off. But again, mighty nightingales. <laughs> what to do with a handkerchief once in woe spent of the many humours? Do not share but one, but tie them in long notes. So also one for each of the vials. One person may even escape well, or apprehend a harlequin of foe. And she wondered how many people she had said I love you to, and drew a beeline to the chocolate stand, the reassuring brand name of barcode, overcame her like Roman purple. The taste even touched her tongue, the bright lights even touched supermarket masked the biggest insects. Her bird in the cage would be there wherever it came from. It's a favourite thing was to try to nip at its throat feathers. Cute! It was a kind of faded aquamarine. Like pumpkin seeds for some reason through the husk out of the cage. So she was forever picking them up. It didn't occur to her that apart from the attention of a few pumpkin seeds, the only view the bird had was of a fridge and a bit of refracted light, maybe an unachievable pot plant. She had once tried to teach the word, but it was only overwhelmed and overshadowed. So it doesn't live near the cream lounge nor the stereo, it never had a name, but sometimes it's called Pumpkin Seed Boy. Oh, gubba 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 gorgeous. Gubba 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 gorgeous. Sometimes the bird is a conversation item, and when that rare thing happens, its name is Shy. And then the tool will be deemed as the bird nervously pecks at its throat feathers. A pumpkin seed is forced into the beak. And then the only thing is to do is to laugh. It left some water in the already there water, took the scarf from the doorway and headed out to the cafe for some avocado on rye. Humanity will rejoice for so many more generations when the floods will come and we shall sail our ark across the Himalayas and all the sinners perish. The doves will fly and when the water recedes we will grow forests of olive trees and crown our heads with laurel. The lambs will be free to wade in the fields of gold and upon the bounties that bring forth golden rays of wheat Upon the sunshine, an ecosystem of hope, of joy, truly a heaven on earth will come, and humanity with will, will, will rejoice. And for so many more generations, when the floods come, and when we sail our ark across the Himalayas, all the sinners perish, the doves will fly, and the water recedes, we will grow forests of olive trees, and crown our heads with laurel. Rafts will sustain floating pastures, and upon these pastures, lambs and lambs will be free to wade in the fields of gold. And upon the bounties that bring forth golden rays of wheat, upon the sunshine, an ecosystem of hope and joy. Truly, a heaven on earth will become, and humanity will rejoice for so many more generations when the floods come and we sail our ark over the Himalayas, and all the sinners perish. 
The doves will fly and when the water recedes, we will grow forests of olive trees and crown our heads with laurel. <laughs>